Hey everybody. All right, this video is going to be on an HP Pavilion DV David Victor DV6. Probably applies to most of the HP computers, uh, DV6, DV7, uh, DV1 million, whatever you want to label it. Uh, you want to change the hard drive, you want to take out the hard drive. Most of these are pretty much the same. This is the uh, this is a panel and sometimes they have screws in it and you'll take the screws out some of the older models of the HP have screws and you just uh, remove the four screws there's one here, one here, I think one here, one there this one doesn't have screws obviously, you don't see any screws so what do you do? No, 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 you're not screwed you make sure that you like my videos and do a thumbs up and subscribe and help me out if you can so you click on this little lever over here which pops out your battery and even if you do have screws here you should always do this you don't want to have power on the unit while you're working on it so you saw that I just uh, pushed this lever and popped out the battery but this is a dual purpose light lever you press it a little more I'm gonna do it I'm gonna press it more you know watch this little sucker is gonna pop out it's gonna have a big swinger here I'm going to keep popping. Oh, what's going on here? Well, in the other direction. The other direction, that's what it is. And you see this popped up a little bit. So you want to go carefully. You don't want to, when you're working on electronics, don't grab things and, like most people do. Take your time. Be patient. Go in here. You can see with my fingers, you can see how I'm being patient. I'm trying to pull because there's probably a little... Uh, Nuji over here or something that's stuck in a compartment, so I'm trying to separate and lift. Sounds like a brassiere, a bra. Lift and separate. Okay, so you see what's going on here now. And I'm wiggling, I'm going slow. See, I'm not grabbing. I'm going slow, lightly with my fingertips. And there you go. The cover's out now. The cover's off and you have the hard drive over here. So let me uh, reposition the camera so you can see what's going on with this. Hold on a second. There we go, I've got the camera turned around. Now some of these units you'll just have a little piece of material you can grab and pull on it and it will pull the hard drive out. You can see over on this unit we've got a screw, a screw, a screw, and a screw and underneath there there's some little braided material to uh, make sure that it's grounding everything so that's how you're going to be removing the hard drive of the pavilion DV6, DV7s maybe even DV5 you're either going to have screws over there or you'll pop this lever and it uh, opens this thing up carefully remove it remove your four screws once you pull out the drive you're just going to have your connector in there be really careful these are very thin wires that are holding this thing it might be plugged into a connector so you don't have to worry about wires some of these uh, have a cable connector others it just snaps right into a built-in connector on the motherboard and then uh, you remove it now let me go show you one other thing if you look right down here that's your CMOS battery you can take this into HP or a computer store and probably pay about fifty dollars to have them replace that two dollar battery or you can do it yourself it's really easy it just snaps into that little holder and the CMOS holds your clock data so when you start losing your clock when you don't see a clock anymore or the time changes and it doesn't uh, work maybe it will reset the 2000 year 2000 or something you just go in there and you replace your CMOS over there and you're groovy. Okay, we're not done yet. This video is going to be amazing, let me tell you. Okay, so there's the hard drive and there's the CMOS over there. And a little further up, those are your memory cards. So instead of paying somebody a fortune of money to take out your memory cards and put in new ones, just look at how they're held in there. It's not that hard to figure out. Put on some uh, magnifiers if you need to. And you can see there's two boards of memory and all of this is done just by flipping that little lever over there opening up this thing you can replace your hard drive if you need to your CMOS battery your memory cards 
and you can save yourself a fortune. And the other nice thing why you've got this thing opened, if you see any dust in there, clean it out. If you see dust in these, uh, or is that dust over here, dust over in these compartments, remove this stuff. That will make your laptop heat up, overheat, and work too hard and put a massive strain on it. All right, so that's the end of this video. Hopefully it helped you out a little bit. Make sure, uh, again, you do a thumbs up, link this to every website on the universe, and um, go to my channel page. Click on support this channel and leave me $10 trillion. Appreciate it. Thanks a lot. Okay, you can see the four screws are now removed. Of course, I'm not going to give you a half-ass video. I'm going to give you what you want. I'm give you what you're paying for. Go over here and try to lift up, be careful, you don't really know how it's being held in there's some uh, grounding stuff I told you and a lot of people in stores they would just grab this thing and thrash it all over the place they don't care take your time it appears the only way to do this is to take off the screw over here there's a little screw over here there's a screw over here I'm going to screw over here, and that is the bracket that holds this hard drive in. And once the bracket is removed, you can see over here how this bracket is holding the connector in place, or blocking the connector, so this has to come off. You're going to have to take all four of these screws out. Be careful, you don't want to drop them in the case. Take all four screws out, and the bracket should come off. Okay, I removed the four screws. I don't really know what's going to happen. Hopefully it's just going to come out. Maybe there are more screws that need to come out. Oh, it just moved. Something's going on. It has to slide out. See, take your time, be patient. Slide and lift, and there you go. There you go now, check it out. Okay, so now we have access to the connector. And I'm gonna keep the top part up here. And I'm just gonna wiggle this thing and see what happens. I don't really know, I'm assuming it's just gonna disconnect. Don't pull on this little fragile cable here. Take your time. Don't wiggle back and forth too much. Um, it's not pulling apart, so I'm worried that maybe there's a little tang or a catch that's holding it on, a tab. Um, there it is. Beautiful. That's how you disconnect your hard drive. Now it is time to close things up now that I've pulled all the data off this drive. So, the way that you install either a new drive or put your drive back in is make sure that you line up your connector so that it will plug in. And that's what I'm doing here. But you can see that uh, this screw, just like originally, all three screws will go down completely and this one only went down partially. So, that's how it's going to be. We got two more screws to put in. And let me pause this. All right, let me see if I can back out. So we've got the uh, mounting screws in there. And remember, this was held down by four screws. Be careful. Try to get this cable out of the way. Make sure you don't crush it. And it's seated in there nicely. It's good enough. And then we'll be mounting the uh, four mount screws over here. One, I got the drive in there. I was able to pull my data. I go try to position. There's some tangs in here. You can see we've got poon. We got these tangs over here, and not too many tangs over there. So, so take your time and get everything. Oh, there we go. Nice and uh, sealed. There's a little bit of dirt in these compartments that I'll clean out later. Grab the battery. Pop it in. All right, there you go. That's the video. How to uh, pull a hard drive out on one of these suckers. Hopefully this was helpful to somebody.